what's up my YouTube family, you know who's in the house, your main DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment coming to you with another video, hope everybody's doing good, staying safe out there in today's video I'm gonna show you the way I chop when it comes to the Insonic ASR 10 now there's two techniques that you can use to chop when it comes to the Insonic ASR 10 and that's um, having your long sample and then you copy layers and then you, uh, you, know, you do all your chunkating from your layers Another way is the way I do it is um, I copy all of my chops already into the machine or I record all my chops already into the machine. So whether you are, you know, uh, sampling from a record, you can just, you know, queue up whatever you're looking for and sample the pieces uh, from the queue in your sample. Um, so those are the two main techniques that you can use. Um, the first techniques utilize less memory um, than the second one because uh, you're not using when you're doing the layers you're not using uh, the memory from the from the keyboard um, but when it comes to uh, sampling every time you sample into this uh, you're sucking out uh, memory so but the memory is upgraded on this so I, I don't face that kind of problem when it comes to my ASR 10 um, so and my way of chopping is recording all the pieces that I want into the machine um, I really don't like to go through the layers um, it's really uh, a little more complicated I you know I can do it but it's more complicated it's not as fast um, as, as a workflow for me um, let me know in your comments below the way you chop when it comes to the ESR 10 now um another thing i would recommend to use you know i mean i come from the old school days of um chopping from records like taking the records and listening to the record and chopping each pieces but you know sometimes you got to utilize um all the great technology that's out now and serrata sample i know i'm not being sponsored by serrata sample or any company out there um, but I really love the workflow um, and the way that it creates my fast workflow when it comes to uh, Serrata Sample. Um, where I can have all my chops already uh, chopped up and when I record into the ASR 10 it just make everything snappy. Um, so you know it's what I tell people all the time. You know your DAW is great for recording and editing. You use that. You know, if you have an analog mixing board, you know that it's great for mixing. So you use all your tools. That's the reason I use the older machine, because they are great with the sound. Whatever you sample into this machine, um, it color it in a beautiful way, you know, in a musical way. Um, you get something special every time you sample into this machine. Versus when you sample into the DAW or any uh, digital, uh, you know, sampler, you just get what you sample you don't get no coloring into that and it, you know it kind of for me you know no offense to anybody who using new technology like you know um, whether it's an MPCX or whatever um, I do own an MPCX um, and newer machines as well but whatever you sample into those machines it do not color it like one of these uh, older machine this would color it in a beautiful way um, so yeah, don't let me do the video too long. I have some chop right here. I'm gonna leave the name of the the artist um, in my uh, you know description below, and um, the name of the song. So let's go ahead and let's get busy. It's your man DJ Roxy. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit a subscribe button for more interesting videos. All right, right here I have my chops. Um, I'm gonna play my chop. And when I heard these pieces, you know, these chops, when I chop it up, um, when I heard the whole song, um, automatically I knew what I wanted to do with the song. Um, and that happens a lot when it comes to me um, choosing a song to sample. Um, I can automatically hear that song is something that I have special in the song that I'm gonna sample. When I heard it, especially like those 
piano sound um, and the stuff that I can do with those um, with those uh, pieces of samples. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and sample into the ASR10. All right, so the first thing we want to do after we boot up the ASR10 is select all monitor selection to get ready to sample. Now I'm recording in mono. I'm gonna be selecting the left side um, of my input. But I'm gonna let the monitor go through both A and B, or left and right. Um, but I'm gonna select A as my monitor uh, input. Another thing to bear in mind, every time you turn on the ASR10 and you try to sample, the effects gonna be on and you wanna turn that off. So we just go down one and you see effects off. So we don't hear the effects while we are sampling. Um, so once you do that, we're going to sample. If you want to do left and right as a stereo input or a stereo sample, um, or if you want to record from the right side or the left side. Like I said, I'm going to be recording from the left side, so we're going to go ahead. After this, pick an instrument and we are ready set to sample. We press enter and once the music hit the threshold or the input hit the threshold it's going to automatically start to sample. So let's go ahead and sample this. Stop it. Press the key. A sample already um, in the keyboard. Now I'm gonna take this sample and I'm just gonna put it in this key because right now this sample is all over the keyboard and I don't want that because I have other sample that's gonna go in my other keys. So we're gonna go edit, pitch, scroll until you see the low and high and we're gonna set the low and high to C4. You come out of there and it's no longer nowhere else but just my C4. Let's go with the next sample. Sample. Pick an instrument. Same instrument. My bad. Let's go back and do that. Same instrument. It's gonna ask you if you wanna record a new wave sample. Yes. Uh, we selecting the same instrument because we wanna be on the same instrument for that sample. Um, my sample channel, I like to call it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, press enter. All right, stop it. place so if you find yourself doing that you go right here all right so right now like I said this sample that we sampled last we're going to edit and pitch the low and high the low and high is on this key so We have one more sample that we're gonna sample. All right, select an instrument number one because we still on that uh, instrument. A new a new wave sample, yes, and select on next chop. Enter. Enter. And we're gonna tell the keyboard we want it hit because we have a sample, a first sample, a second sample, and a third sample. So this is a third sample.
last sample is all over the keyboard and we just want to put it in this like I said we're going to edit pitch and set that to that and that's it so that's how I create my samples so I have all these samples in the keyboard You know, and you can do this, you can spread it out. I like to spread it out starting from the C, from the middle C, but you can start from anywhere in the keyboard and you can fill all these keys with sample. Um, so, I mean, it's very easy to do. If you have any questions, let me know in your comments below. Um, so that's how I sample into the SR10, how I create my chops. Highly recommend you use a Serato sample if you want a fast workflow. I mean, um, it will take me at least, um, you know, let's say 30 minutes into something I'm doing here with Serato Plus in, in, you know, in less than five minutes. So uh, even when it comes to the, to the chops already done in the program um, and just sending it to this ASR10, you know, regarding everything to the ASR10. Like I said, man, um, um, the beauty about you know the ASR10 and these older equipment, um, like the S950, um, like the SP1200, the Emax, and all these legendary equipment um, that help shape hip hop music and hip hop culture. Um, and yes, I can't forget the MPC60 and the MPC3000. When you sample into these machines. Um, you really, really get like, you know, a, a warm, beautiful sound um, that uh, recording into your DAW or into any digital machine, um, it will not give you that coloring that I'm talking about. But, you know, don't let no equipment limit you from creating good music. If you just have a laptop and that's what you have, use your laptop. Um, it's your man DJ Roxy. I'm gonna be logging out. Um, the next video I'm gonna do on the ASR10 is a special request um, from one of the my, one of my subscribers. He wants to know how to MIDI this with the MPC, um, and I'm gonna do that video to show you guys how to MIDI uh, your ASR10 or you know your EPS with your MPC. It's very easy, but it's a few little stuff, few little steps that you need to take. Um, want to get that done it's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment once again if you haven't subscribed to this channel it's a perfect time to help this channel grow um, and I would like to thank all my subscribers that take the time out to subscribe to this channel it's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment logging on till next time